Our soup is ready, it's thick, it's looking so delicious. If you guys could just smell what I'm smelling right now. Hi right, guys, welcome back to Mel's Kitchen. In today's video, I'll be showing you real quick how I'm gonna freestyle making this quick pot of chicken soup. There's so many methods of making a chicken soup, but this is just one of many. So stick and stay while I show you guys all the ingredients that I'm throwing into this pot. So just follow me along as you see how we achieve this look. So right now I have a pot on the stove with some water in it, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this pumpkin that I went ahead and dice off to a medium size. And I'm gonna let this pumpkin cook and mash out on their own and then we'll come back and continue with the next step so while the pumpkin is is in i'm going to go ahead and throw in some thyme and i'm also going to throw in one clove of garlic to that i'm going to add just a bit of salt to bring up the taste of the cock soup that i'll be throwing in because the cock soup already have salt in it so this is what i'll be using this is a jamaican fla jamaica flavor cock soup noodle so i'm gonna go ahead and open this and throw all of it in the pots there we go and i'm just gonna mix this around cover this pot and let it cook when i do that i ensure that the pumpkin cooks with flavor okay you guys so it's been about 30 minutes since we put all these ingredients in the pot and the pumpkin is very soft so what we're gonna go ahead and do is help it to become um help to mash it out using our masher so i'm just gonna go in with my masher and just mash the pumpkin mash it as much as i can make sure i'm not seeing any square pieces Okay, that's about it. So we're left with this thick, rich looking liquid, which is amazing, which is exactly what you want. That looks so good. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is add some more water onto this because I need my soup. You're yeah, going for liquid here even though this soup is going to be full of body but you need to make sure that when your food is finished cooking that you have soup all this liquid so now let's move on to the next step over here on this board i have chicken i have corn irish potatoes carrots and some flour that i'm going to use to make dumpling and my aim is to put everything that i have here in the pot one time so it doesn't really matter at what step you put in the chicken or at what step you put in the corn. You just throw everything into the pot at the same time. And you mix that because you want nothing to be sticking. next thing i should have um, showed you guys is that on the chicken if you realize i leave the skin not all of them maybe just two pieces i leave the skin the rest of them i take off the skin the reason why i leave the skin on about two pieces is because i want to get that fat flavor from the skin into the soup so that's my reason for leaving the skin and i'm using chicken thighs I'm, I'm a big fan of using the part of the chicken with bone because all that flavor from the bone will let out into this soup and that's the aim that I'm going for. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my dumplings and throw in there. And when I'm making soup, I like to make my dumplings very small. So let me show you guys the aim that I'm going for for these dumplings. My dumplings will not be bigger than this. The other aim that I'm going to do is make what we call spinners. In Jamaica, we call these spinners. If your soup not have spinners, then no soup, period. 
So I'm gonna make a bunch of spinners and then I'm gonna make a few of the small ones. My family love, my son love dumpling. So if there's no dumpling when you cook soup, he doesn't want it. A typical Jamaican kid. When you put in all your food, you want to ensure that your pot is cooking on medium heat and you go back and you mix your pot because you want nothing to be sticky. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to slightly mix the pot, make sure nothing is sticking. Then we are gonna cover this on medium heat and let it stay there and cook on its own. Okay, you guys, so it's been another 30 minutes. It's been about 30 minutes since our last step and our soup is full of body and you don't have to add no thickening agent to it. At this point, you can take out the thyme stems because all the leaves will be already gone. Okay, so at this point, what I'll advise most of you to do is add scallion, another piece of thyme, and hot pepper, Jamaican hot pepper. But I don't have any hot pepper but I will not be using any hot pepper because my family is going to drink this soup. The kids going to drink this soup and I can't make it hot. And um, I don't have any scallions. So I will be skipping that part. But what I'll do is add another piece of fresh thyme. And then I have another cock soup here. But this time I will not throw all the cock soup into the pot. All I need is just the seasoning from it. So I'm going to use this strainer here and I'm going to sieve the seasoning into the soup just like that and mix that in. And then I'll leave this on the stove for another five minutes just to let the seasoning cook on very, very low heat. And then our soup will be ready. Doesn't that look so good? Thick and nice and full of body. Exactly what you're reaching for. And make sure you taste your soup to ensure that it has flavor and it's not fresh. That last seasoning that you add to it should give it enough flavor to finish off. So I'm gonna close this back and let it continue cooking. very very low heat okay you guys so roughly an hour since we started this process and our soup is ready is thick is looking so delicious if you guys could just smell what i'm smelling right now all right you guys so there we have our chicken soup hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you do give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you are new to mal's kitchen and i'll see you guys in my next video